guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and I am here today with a simple and tasty recipe. It is pizza pot pie. So it's unlike a traditional pot pie with turkey or chicken and the cream base. This pot pie has all the flavors of your favorite pizza. So in my skillet, I have browned one pound of ground meat. So I am using um, ground beef and Italian sausage. You can use whatever combination you like, even you know tur ground turkey. And then to that, I am going to add um, about a half a cup of bell pepper. Now, normally I would use fresh bell pepper, but I don't have any, so I am using the frozen chopped bell pepper. And then I'm going to add to it one cup of sliced fresh mushrooms. And I am going to let this mixture cook down for about five minutes. And while this is cooking down, I'm gonna show you guys how to make the filling for this delicious pot pie. All right, guys, so next steps for the mixture, I have a brick or eight ounces of softened cream cheese. And to that, I'm going to add two cups of mozzarella, just the shredded kind, drop it in there. And this recipe is super flexible, so if you want to add mozzarella and something else or your other favorite type of cheese, feel free to do so. So I'm just going to mix all of this up. Okay, I have all of this combined and to it I'm going to add my meat mixture. So here's my meat mixture and I forgot to mention I did season my meat. Um, I added some garlic salt, onion powder, um, use whatever seasonings you'd like. Also some Italian seasoning went in there as well. And here it is, I'm just gonna mix all of this up. And I forgot to mention, I am preheating my oven to 350 degrees. Okay, and to my meat mixture, I am going to add a 14 and a half ounce can of unsalted diced tomatoes that I have drained. Okay, so I have a um, two pie crust, and I like Pillsbury, but you can use whatever brand you'd like. And so I unrolled one of the pie crust and put it in my pie pan, and I'm going to just add my meat mixture in. And I forgot to mention, you know, if you want to add black olives, you know, if you like that on your pizza or anything else that you like on your pizza, onions, you name it, go for it. Like I said, it's a pretty flexible recipe. You can add whatever you want to it. And now I am just crimping my edges together. Okay, and now I'm just going to add some pepperoni on top. All right, so I'm just gonna add my pepperoni slices. And then I am just going to slit, make some slits in there so the pie can breathe. Okay. 
and you're just gonna sprinkle it with a little bit of Italian seasoning. All right, so I am going to pop this in the oven for about 45 minutes to an hour or until it turns golden brown. All right guys, so here is the pie. I ended up baking this for about an hour and 15 minutes and I am going to cut it so you guys can see what it looks like. And I did let this sit for about 15 minutes, let it cool I should say, for about 15 minutes, still hot. Hopefully it doesn't fall apart on me. All right guys, so I cut it. I cut a piece for me and for Howard and that is what the inside looks like. And here is the slice that I cut on my plate. So let me taste a little bit for you guys. It tastes really good. It tastes just like a pizza, but it has the creaminess of the cream cheese, but it has a really good flavor. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope you'll do so. And I can't remember if I mentioned, but I will leave the recipe the ingredients, the directions in the description box. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.